yesterday though. <clears throat> Mm. Let me tell you something. Bay, bay. First, let me start off with my motherfucking outfit since it seemed like motherfucker didn't understand it, okay? First of all, I am a hippie. Let's just go ahead and be crystal clear. Though I'm an Egyptian imported and dipped in lace, another portion of my lifetime I was also a hippie. My past life was cold-blooded. My, I'm a descendant of some cold-blooded motherfuckers. I come from royalty. Understand that shit. I really do. I come from royalty. Okay? And, nigga, it's just part of my motherfucking whole get down. You know what I'm saying? It's called the law of attraction. Nigga, it's called believe what you, what you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is my belief, though. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers is probably choking and about to throw up in their mouth. It don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? See, some motherfuckers believe that they whatever. Me? I believe that I come from royalty. Don't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's my motherfucking belief on some what other shit, nigga. I feel like shit, I always been on one of them motherfucking levels. You know what I'm saying? All in my other motherfucking past life, nigga. Yeah, I really believe that motherfucking shit. Yeah. And it's like shit, because and now that I'm getting older and I look at it and shit, and I'm like, wow. You know, that's why I say, you ain't supposed to be having no motherfucking secrets. In your motherfucking 40s, nigga, you walking around here holding secrets, nigga, you ain't living. Because motherfuckers is, at this point in time, supposed to accept you for who the fuck you are, nigga, without no extra uh, frills and trills, nigga. This was adding right here. Because, first of all, you want organic connection. I do. I don't want to be around a motherfucker where I can't be my own goddamn self and shit. Well, I got to be somebody else all the time? Nigga, you kidding me? Now, I'm a role-playing motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm subject to come out of that motherfucker and come behind that curtain, nigga, on some whole different level. I'm that motherfucker, okay? But, you know, in the meantime and in the between time and shit, the shit said cut, nigga, I'm some, uh, now I'm back to just Tina. I'm just Tina. That's it. You know, and, you know, you don't want to be in places where you cannot be yourself. Where you, you got every half of the shit you talking about, you got to lie about it. You got to lie about it. A childhood you had. You gotta lie about a job you had. You gotta lie about how much money you make. You gotta lie about where you stay. You gotta lie about, you know, I mean, just dumb shit. I mean, this motherfuckers really be lying on, I mean, dumb, crazy shit too. I ain't got but one child. And motherfuckers be having four and five. You know, and shit like that. Motherfuckers be lying, lying. I mean, just, it's like, mm. and I, I'm not saying that I know that personally because I, I don't know. Whatever somebody, I take you as value. Because I believe at this point in time, really, what the fuck you got to lie for? So if a motherfucking man tell me, oh, I got three kids, I'm going to believe it. Motherfucker say, oh, okay, well, I got such and such. Okay, I'm going to believe it. Because I don't feel as though you have a reason to lie about it. Now, if you in your 20s or whatever, and you like, oh, okay, I don't want this. I don't want this motherfucker to know that I really got six kids already. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, hey, first of all, you supposed to accept that. You know what I'm saying? That's what you chose to do. You know, but motherfuckers will be lying on that shit. Now, until we get to know one another real good, he don't need to know all my business. That's the only thing that I can somewhat respect. But to me, lying on how many children that you have and shit like that, to me, nigga, that's a character flaw like a motherfucker. Because it's like, nigga, why would you lie about that kind of shit? Why? That don't even make no motherfucking sense. You know what I'm saying? Why are you lying about your finances, motherfucker? Those are yours that you make. What? What? Because you know on every motherfucking thing, ain't nobody broke nowadays. Everybody making over 75, 85, 125. Everybody making that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody making that shit. Knowing that motherfucker's making $11 and some change. But that motherfucker's like, shit, oh, yeah, well, I'm making $85,000. I'm making seventy two six fifty nine, dollars And all that old time. Man, because the niggas down here, they throw a odd number in there and fuck you up with it. Oh. Uh, Somebody coming. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. But why, I don't understand why grown folks be lying. That don't make no sense to me, man. I don't cut the, I'm not, I don't know. So, in my, and in, in I also have, when I say about the hippie aspect, if you really look at them motherfuckers, them some free spirit motherfuckers, they don't give a fuck. If they on some live and let live, nigga, mother earth and all that old type of shit. Read up on them motherfuckers, nigga, and tell me, do you see a picture of me next to that motherfucker with a, a, got one up in the air? Because, nigga, 
I don't give a fuck about what nobody got on some real shit. <clears throat> I really don't. I don't give a fuck about what nobody got because I understand that God give it and he take it away. And if you got quite a few things, then therefore, guess what? Nigga, either you been a hooking and crooked motherfucker and been getting away with it and your karma, when your shit really come at you, nigga, it's going to come hard. Or you got a pretty decent ass soul. You know what I'm saying? You have really sown some seeds before God to where he said you was worthy to have that. You know what I'm saying? Then there's some people say the devil... The devil also provides for his own. That could be true. That's why I'm saying. But that shit don't last forever. Okay? So that therefore, when the shit turn, because it's going to turn around. And you can do some shit. You can continue to keep doing some shit. Writing bad checks and stealing and doing uh, that. What's that other shit these motherfuckers be doing? Identity theft and doing all this bullshit. Okay? You can do all that shit. Okay? Everything comes back. And that's what I don't understand how some how how some people just don't understand that. You really need to understand whatever you do is going to come back around on you. That is just the fact of the matter. I didn't make it up. Okay, I, I'm not just, just now on some cliche shit in this motherfucker. Oh, well, it's gonna turn what goes around turns around. No, really, in real time. Whatever the fuck you do to people, that is what you're going to attract. That is going to be your reality. It's just the fact. I didn't make it up, man. So, if you're walking around this motherfucker and you lying and lying and lying and lying and lying and lying about every motherfucking thing, you don't know the truth. And it's some motherfuckers that can lie so goddamn tough, nigga. They can pull a storyline with that shit. It's like, ain't no way in the world this motherfucker could be lying. Not with this whole motherfucker storyline to go with it. You know what I'm saying? And I know a few of them motherfuckers. I mean, goddamn, The nigga was believable like a motherfucker. The motherfucker went through a whole goddamn storyline. I was like, wow. The motherfucker was lying, though. And some of them that's just been so good at that. You know? And I really believe that a lot of times it comes from children having that make-believe back in the day. You know, when they was kids and they had... You know, an imaginary friend, imaginary life, you know, and in their dreams and in their heads, they lived a certain type of way, you know, and a lot of times that comes from kids that are, you know, uh, being a witness to a lot of abuse in the home. I didn't make this shit up, okay? Now, this, hey, and it could be subjective, so I ain't saying this shit for everybody, so I don't need motherfuckers coming in saying, oh, well, mine ain't like that. I ain't got, that ain't got, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay, well, this ain't, take what you need. Okay, take what you need. But I do know that <clears throat> if you lived a real stressful life as a child, it grows you up to be a certain type of adult. If you witnessed a lot of bullshit, if you witnessed your dad going in and out of the home, fucking up your mom, fucking up her heart, had your mom crying, you, because even still to this day, I remember when my mama was crying over something the fuck my daddy did. Nigga, and I was about eight years old, and I remember that shit like it was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I remember that shit like it was yesterday. So, a lot of people were walking around with a lot of past pain. You know, and to counteract that shit, they become liars. You know, and they, because anytime you meet somebody, people going to want to talk about, you know, well, how was your childhood? How was, you know, how, how, you know, where you come from? You know, what's your pedigree or whatever? And then that's when the whole storyline and the lies, the lies get to come. And motherfuckers get to talk about, oh, I was going to summer camp every year. Oh, and I was doing this. And, oh, I was doing that. Them motherfuckers are lying. Some motherfuckers be lying like a motherfucker. Real shit. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's a character flaw to me because I just feel like at a certain time in your life, if you're not having fun, nigga, you fucked up somewhere. You fucked up somewhere because if, 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 in my in my mindset, the way I look at it, in your 20s, you're supposed to be having your children. Get that shit out the way in your 20s. Be done with that shit. So by the time you in your 40s, baby, these motherfuckers is growing up and growing out. And now, when you really start feeling yourself and really starting to get to understand you, because he, a lot of people don't even know themselves. Let me just go and say that, too. A lot of people don't know, Because if you can't take no ownership of the part that you play in bullshit, nigga, you's a disillusional motherfucker. Yeah. 
Nigga, you, you, you delusional. Oh my God. Nigga, if it's all about, well, you did this, 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 and you ain't taking ownership for nothing, nigga, you got some problems like a motherfucker. Watch that shit anytime you talking to somebody and they always playing the victim. Always talking about what somebody did to them. Oh, they did this and they did this and they did this and they did this and they did this. Where's your resolve? Because a lot of times you go through things for a test. You understand what I'm saying? To make you become who are you dri driven to be. You know what I'm saying? That's why they call purpose-driven life. Nigga, that's why it's called a path. All throughout this path, you're going to meet people. People are going to come in and out. Stepping out in your path that you're going to meet. And that's why I always, when I'm talking to my son, I always give the analogy of the Zelda game because that's one of his favorite uh, games. And I'll be telling him, you know, that life is like a Zelda game to an aspect. You're on this path and different things are going to come into this path and you're still trying to make it all the way on this end. But you got to... Go over here, get your sword forged, and you got to go over here and pick up this book, and you got to go over here, and you got to get this different robe, and you got to go over here. All throughout your life, you're going to meet people that are going to put you in situations that's going to make you stronger and strengthen your resolve for who you're going to become. See, you're never going to be the same person in your life. The person that you are in at 20, all the shit that you're going through in your 20s, when you get in your 30s, that's going to be an afterthought. When you get in your 40s, you're going to look back at your 30s, you're going to be like, damn, psh, I did that. If you are still doing the same shit that you was doing in your 20s and 30s, nigga, you haven't grown. You haven't grown. You're supposed to graduate from shit. Your life is supposed to go in steps, but the steps are supposed to be an incline, okay? You're never supposed to be stagnant just walking this way because that's just too comfortable. How are you going to grow? you just walking this way. You want to go up. Or some people are going down. And when they go down, they don't. it's like, shit, there ain't no hope. Shit, fuck it. What else can we steal? You know what I mean? Who else? Shit, let's go rob a motherfucker so we can come up. Let's let's go and do some kind of motherfucking uh, white-collar crime so we can get us some money. You know, let's go, you know, fuck with some insurance and, and, and hit each other's cars. And I mean, this motherfuckers be doing some sh crazy shit to get on. And this is in real time. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing that right now, God is allowing you to get away with all these things. Can you imagine? Just think about it for a minute. If you're doing a whole bunch of shit and there's no repercussions, I'll be scared of motherfuckers. If I can do, and, but, but I've been that one though. I've done so much shit and I didn't have no repercussions. I was like, damn, nigga, I got away with it like a motherfucker. Shit, nigga, come back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. And it's like, but you have to understand that right now you're getting away with it. There's going to be a time you might not get away. Then what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? You got to think about that in every aspect of your motherfucking life. So as you're getting older, man, I can't wait for my motherfucking 50s. I'm preparing for these motherfuckers right now. That's why I keep saying, man, okay, my house payment is $500 and what, $70? Man, let me get this motherfucker to about $300 and something. So when I'm in my 50s, man, I really ain't got, you know what I'm saying, really no overhead and I really ain't, you know, I'm really at this point in time just taking the region cruises and going to motherfucking Mardi Gras and all kinds of shit. I'm just in the wind. All my kids gone and I'm, man, I'm just really living. I'm a sore, you know, and it's like, but to be able to do those things, you have to make preparations for that. Right now, I'm living preparing for my next decade. I'm sowing seeds to make my next year a better year. I'm sowing seeds out here, you know, for harvest, for real shit, nigga. I'm about to throw some shit in the harvest, motherfucker. Look like this coming. We got thing on. No, I look like some shit ready like a motherfucker, huh? But I started that. I was so I sold those seeds in January. Harvest is getting ready to come. So you always have to plant some type of seeds if you want something to happen later. You have to start that now. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. You ain't going to never make it over there. If you just keep, oh, well, next week, well, next week, well, next week, well, next week, instead of just jumping in. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when you get to be my age, though, all those little kinks, because still, I make mistakes now. You know what I'm saying? I make mistakes now, you know? But now I look at my mistakes as life lessons. Okay, now, 
let me look at this situation a different type of way. Let me look at the lessons that I learned from it. You know what I'm saying? What did I learn? What did I know that I didn't know before I met this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? What did I what did I feel that I didn't feel before I met this motherfucker? Where did I go that I had never been before before I met him? You know what I'm saying? You have to look at it as a lesson, as a life lesson to get you further. God wants us to all excel. He don't want us to nobody to be without. He don't want to he want us to live our best life and be with a life partner and all that old time. I mean, that's really the way it's supposed to go. And if you really live your life somewhat accordingly, it's already understood that you're going to make some mistakes. It's already understood that we are all sinners. It's already understood that, you know, along your path, you're going to fuck up. Okay? So, you know, don't worry about no motherfucking mistakes. Learn from them motherfuckers. You got to make mistakes. Because how the fuck else are you going to grow and learn if you don't make a motherfucking mistake? If you, all you get is wins... Nigga, when are you going to take an L? You got to take an L. Because then therefore you're going to learn from that L. And then the next time you're going to be better, uh, you know, regrouped and all that old type of shit for the next level again. Now, nigga, let's do this again now. Because now I know your ski low. So now let's do it again. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed, it's supposed to make you grow. It's not supposed to make, you know, um, anyway. Conversation switching again. You understand where I'm coming from. You ain't got no business out in this motherfucker in your 40s and 50s and shit still living with, uh, with a motherfucking veil over your, your face and still living a lie to your nearest and dearest and to yourself and don't even know yourself, nigga. Ain't nobody supposed to be able to tell you about you. Nobody is supposed to tell you about you. Nor are you supposed to allow somebody to use your shit against you. That's one thing I had to learn, and I just had to learn that lesson. Out of all these many motherfucking years, I never knew that I'm not supposed to never allow someone to use my past against me, especially if it didn't have nothing to do with you. This is my past. This is my path. This is what it is. Because one thing about it, everybody got a past. Everybody got a past, okay? Some motherfuckers just not outright sharing theirs. That's fine, too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to be forthright. Please understand and know it. Because a lot of people, those are the ones, really, that got so much shit to hide. I ain't, that's my business. That's my business. That's my business. Oh, my God. That's my business. I understand.